Hello everybody, Bethany here. So today I'm going to be doing this look um, inspired by Hilary Scott from Lady Antebellum. So this is what I came up with, just a really pretty kind of plummy smoky eye and it will look really great if you have brown eyes or um, hazel eyes like she does. Um, I mean really any eye color it'll look well on but, it's, but specifically those. So if you're interested please keep on watching. <laughs> Alright everybody, so to start off this look, I've already applied my foundation and concealer. The foundation I used today was the Revlon Color Stay Whipped, and I used the shade Buff. Um, then I set it with my Cargo and my Laura Geller um, pressed powders. Um, used Maybelline concealer and Cargo concealer and Exuviance concealer, so a whole bunch of stuff. I'll put everything down there for you. But to start off, we're going to do the eyes, and I'll start with a primer, um, just a clear one. I'm using the Palladio Herbal Eyeshadow Primer. Just a little bit of this will be great. All right, and then I'm going to actually use another, um, it's really a cream eyeshadow, but it will make the colors show up a lot more, which is, and it's the Maybelline Color Tattoo in uh, the shade Barely Branded. So it's just a really nice champagne kind of color. And I'll just use a touch of this. just on the top lid. So I'm going to bring it, I'm going to bring it up to the crease. And then just a little bit into the brow bone. Alright, so to get this pretty kind of plum smoky look, I'm going to start off by using the MAC Nocturnal um, Shadow. If you have something that's a little less pink, that would probably work even better. Um, I don't really have some, I uh, don't have that at the moment, but I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to also use the Ulta Mystical Eyeshadow to kind of balance it out and so it's not like bright purple on my eyelids. Okay, so to start off with Mystical, or sorry, um, Nocturnal, I'm just going to use my... Eco Tools eyeshadow brush, and then I'm going to apply that on the eyelid. So I'm working it gently into the crease, but you don't want to go too far up, just a little bit. So pretty much like that. I'll do the other side. All right, and then I'm gonna go into Mystical with a tapered crease brush. This is by Red Earth. And with this, I think I'm just gonna kind of bring it on the outer corner and then along the top lash line. So you're not going to see a huge difference, but it's really just going to tone down the color a little bit and just give it kind of just a cool dimension. Alright, and we're going to continue this on the bottom lash line. So I'm going to grab my flat eyeliner brush and just do the same thing. Start with the nocturnal and then put the mystical on top of that. You just want it pretty light under here, nothing too intense. So now I'm actually going to put a blush color in my crease, and it's the same blush that we're going to use later on, but I definitely, she has some kind of little pinkish, peachish color going on, and I'm guessing it's her blush, because a lot of makeup artists actually do that, because it really kind of ties the whole look together in a really cool way. So I'm using the Lola Sunrise, and it's just a really nice matte uh, peach color, and I'll use the same tapered crease brush that I used before, just make sure to clean it off. 
and we're just gonna blend that crease out because obviously it's not looking too hot right now so just gonna really just take it on the edge and then just kind of swirly motions to blend that out so it gives us a really pretty kind of pinkish little glow around the edge I'm going to use just a touch of a matte vanilla highlight. I'm using this from the Cargo Essential Dark Neutral Palette. And then just right under the eyebrow. Alright guys, so we're done with the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to show you how to do the eyeliner. Um, it's really just kind of a choice. It's really, you can use gel, liquid, pencil, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to use a pencil for this one, and it's the NYX Slide On Pencil, I think, in Jet Black. So it's a really creamy, easy to use one. Um, she definitely does have false eyelashes on, so you can totally apply those if you really want the look to be very dramatic. I'm just going to be going to work. I don't want to have deal with false lashes, so I'm not going to put them on, but you totally can if you want. Um, so I'll go ahead and just put a thin line of black on the top. I'll probably smudge it out just, as, just a smudge to make sure, just a smudge, just a smidge, to make sure that it looks good. And then I will do my eyebrows, add a little bit of mascara, probably a little more than a little bit, so it's more full and, and false looking. Um, and then I will come back and show you the cheeks and the lips. All right, guys, so the eyes are finished, and I'm going to go ahead and apply the blush. I'm using that same one I used for the eyes, the Lola Sunrise. And if you want to know how to apply blush, or at least how I do in a very detailed way, you can check out my um, almost latest video about that. And I'm actually using the same color, so it'll kind of give you a little, little help if you um, want that. So anyway, I'm going to use the Posh Angled Blush Brush to apply this because it's kind of a precise one. And I'm just going to kind of apply this to the, the lower apples of the cheeks and then blend it out just a little bit. So I'll show you how I do that, just kind of starting there. And then bringing it up to about right there. So like the end of the eyebrow kind of area. And always just start with a little bit first. Let it kind of sit there, look at it, go back, add more. Just so that you get that good application. I haven't seen too much peach blush with like a purple or plum eye and it's it's actually really pretty I like the combination a lot okay then I'm going to use just a very neutral highlight color they don't sell this anymore but it's a uh, it's from wet n wild and that's what it looks like and I'll just put a little bit of that on the top tops of kind of the apples of the cheek and kind of the cheekbone area so just right in here and along the cheekbone I love highlight. I just, I don't use it enough, but it's so pretty. It really makes a difference. Okay. And just gently blend those together a bit. All right. So last part will be the lips. And I'm going to use a very neutral um, pencil. That's the MAC Subculture. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use um, this one by Revlon Colorstay. And it's called Smooth Nude. And you could probably use something a little darker depending on your, what your skin coloring is and what, the, what you really want to go for. But you want it to be, sorry, I was picking up my pencil. <laughs> you want it to be a very dark, neutral kind of color. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. I'll probably fill them in a little bit just so that it's not like a really distinct line. And then I'll add the lipstick and you'll see the finished look. All right, guys, so there's the finished Hilary Scott inspired makeup look. I hope you liked that. Be sure to keep checking back for more videos and subscribe if you like them. Also, feel free to like the video and also check out my Facebook and Twitter and Instagram accounts for more updates um, throughout the week. So thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.